Hi, I'm Brian with Truth and Privacy Talks. Thanks for stopping in again. Last time I explained that Verus is a UTXO-based cryptocurrency with DeFi modules built into its consensus protocol. Today I'll explain how liquidity pools, automated market makers, and fractional currencies function in the Verus ecosystem. Verus is a foundational blockchain that builds key primitives at the consensus level of the protocol. DeFi is one of those key primitives. It's a challenge to comprehend DeFi because the terminology is being created as concepts develop. Let's define three terms today. Automated market maker, liquidity pool, and fractional currency. In a DeFi system, currencies are traded with a pool of liquidity, not individual people. A pool of liquidity can include a variety of currencies in varying amounts. Each liquidity pool is attached to a specific currency, which is then valued based on the currencies in the pool. Consider a creation called New Currency, which is fully backed by Verus and Ethereum. Because it is 100% backed, New Currency's value is the total of the equally divided currencies in the liquidity pool. If Verus and Ethereum are each worth $500, then the new currency is worth $1,000 regardless of the mix in the pool. Even if new currency has one Verus coin and 1,000 Ethereum in its liquidity pool, they still contribute 50-50 to new currency's value. A Verus DeFi currency that is backed 100% can have many currencies in the pool and in many combinations. Prices of fractional currencies like new currency will fluctuate with their pools. Because no one sets the price, it is fully automated. Anyone can interact with new currency anytime because the market is always open. This is called an automated market maker. There is always liquidity because the pool can never be empty. You can always add or remove Verus and Ethereum. Now why would somebody want to convert their Verus or Ethereum to new currency? Fractional currencies create numerous opportunities to provide enhanced DeFi services. First, New Currency's constant mix strategy can be an investment portfolio tool. You hold one currency but are exposed to different currencies. Consider an ETF, an exchange-traded fund with one stock ticker that might comprise dozens or hundreds of stocks. Holding fractional currencies can provide opportunities to profit or mitigate risk. Because currency values in Verus's ecosystem are based on the currency's blockchains, exchanges with misaligned prices will present solid arbitrage opportunities. And by holding new currency, you can earn fees from other people's conversions. In the Verus ecosystem, we say a currency is fractional when it has a liquidity pool attached. The currencies in the pool of liquidity are called reserve currencies. We showed how a fractional currency derives its value completely from its reserve currencies. In Verus's ecosystem, we can have fractional currencies that are less than 100% backed. Partially backed fractional currencies can be backed as little as 5% to as much as 95%. Let's convert from one reserve currency to another reserve currency. First you convert a reserve currency to a fractional currency. Then you convert that fractional currency into a different one of its reserve currencies. In the Verus ecosystem, there's a shortcut called converting through a fractional currency. You don't acquire the fractional currency, but convert through it to another reserve currency. For example, if you own Verus, you can convert it to ETH through new currency. The Verus protocol will search through all fractional currencies with both Verus and ETH in its pool and present the best price. There is always value and liquidity with fractional and reserve currencies. By the way, all fractional currencies on the Verus blockchain must include Verus as a reserve. A giant and effective system of liquidity is emerging. Become part of the Verus community. See you on Discord. Thanks for watching. Take care.